What's up, boxing fans? What's going on? It's Big Q from the Sports Coma, and we're breaking down the Dylan White versus Joe Parker fight that happened yesterday at the O2 Arena in London. Of course, Dylan White, 24 and 1 with 17 knockouts, took on Joe Parker, who's 24 and 2 now with 18 knockouts. And it was a hell of a fight, man. Joe Parker uh, coming into this fight. Uh, was a guy that a lot of people was kind of betting against, and myself included. Before we get started and break down the fight, we're going to bring in our boxing expert, Eddie Two Mean Johnson, on the show today to help me break down Dylan White versus Joe Parker. What's going on there, Two Mean? What's good? What's good? What's good? Good, man. Good, great, and excellent, man. Great night of boxing Saturday night. Dylan White, Joe Parker, man. Want a chance to go at Anthony Joshua again. And Dylan White, man, we called this fight before I said Dylan White was going to win this fight. Of course, you said by way of knockout wasn't a knockout, although Joe Parker got knocked down a couple of times in this fight. A better performance for Joe Parker versus what he did against Anthony Joshua, where he basically ran and got on his bike all night. Uh, This fight, Dylan White came into this fight and forced Joe Parker to engage him. And I got to give like a lot of respect to Dylan White as he improves from fight to fight. And he's just more serious. His tempo, man, he forced Joe Parker to fight him. And Parker came alive late and started to bang with him, took some vicious shots, both guys, uh, in this fight. Ultimately, it went the, the way of unanimous decision for Dylan White in this fight. You seeing this fight too mean. What's your take on it? Going oh, back and forth, man. They both was knocking each other down. But you know, he was like a little back and forth. But then uh, Dylan White, he just had, he had, he just had a little bit more gas in his face and um, the more hard too than Parker, man. That's what won him the fight. This is second consecutive loss, and he lost to Anthony Joshua, who took his belt. Dylan White, of course, been on a roll. He seems hell bent on getting back to a position where he challenges for a heavyweight title. And this fight might definitely go get him closer to a fight with Anthony Joshua. So, like I said, Joe Parker, man, to me, this was a lot better fight. But Dylan White just seems like you say he had more heart, more determination, more everything, a little bit more. Terrific fight. Dylan White put on the show. They both clubbed each other to death. Uh, like I said, White was knocked down a couple of times. But at the end of the day, Dylan White survives and uh, Joseph Parker does not. Yeah, like I'm saying, both going to learn a lot from that fight. I'm saying, depends on who can um, go back to the drawing board and, and um, look at the mistakes and, and make the uh, necessary improvements and move forward. And, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully, get another shot at the title and win the belt. And they, they got some monsters up there as champs. <laughs> so they better be on the A. They better get on the A game. Dylan White now trusting himself back into a potential fight with perhaps either one of those guys coming up. We'll just have to wait and see what's going on. But anyway, that'll be it for the show. Dylan White versus Joe Parker as White gets a unanimous decision uh, and moves close to another shot at uh, Anthony Joshua. There you go. Either him or perhaps even Deontay Wilder. You know, so there it is. Anyway, from me and Two Mean, we'd like to thank y'all for joining the show today. Uh, As always, share, comment, and subscribe. Sharing is caring here at the Sports Coma. And let us know. Comment on the section. Let us know what you thought about the fight, Dylan White and Joe Parker, and where each one of these fighters going to end up going. So, for me and Eddie, thank you for joining us tonight. Peace. Peace. What up, sports world? It's Big Q from the Sports Coma, representing the PRO Media Network, letting you know that the PRO Media Network is in a push now on a mission to gain 10,000 subs. That's right, 10K on the subs. And to help promote to get 10,000, the PRO Media Network is not only going to be doing the shows that you love so much about the Saints, the Pelicans, or LSU, but also it'll expand out the biggest stories about the NFL, the NBA, and even include new content dealing with anime, gaming, and even movie reviews in an attempt to expand out its platform. So if you're a fan of the PRO Media Network, Sports Coma, or the Pelican Post Game Report, and other podcasts made by the PRO Media Network, please join us in our efforts in our mission to get 10,000 subs. Sales for fans, share for friends, share for family members, and help us help the PRO Media Network gain 10,000 subs. Peace.